So this tutorial is all about how you can easily add up cells in Excel. So here we've got a really simple spreadsheet. It's just a list of fruit and a table of figures showing how many pieces of fruit were sold on a particular day. So here we've got 23 oranges sold on a Monday. Now, if I want to add up these figures for Monday, I need to click into the cell that I want my answer in. So here I've clicked into cell B9. You can see the cell reference up here. And the first thing I do is type an equals sign. The equals sign is your way of telling Excel you're entering a formula. Now, I could just type 23 plus 12 plus 6 plus 12 plus 14 plus 16, plus 9, and I would get the answer. But the problem is doing it like this, is if any of my figures update, my answer doesn't change. Okay, so I'm just going to undo that. We'll go back to here. The easiest way to add up a range of cells is to use a function called autosum. And there's a few different ways of doing it, and I'll show you each one. So again, you click into the cell you want the answer in, and then over in the editing group, which is on the home tab, you just click in the middle of the auto sum icon. If we have a look, it's put in the equal sign for you. The function you're using is the sum function. You've got an open bracket, and then it's giving you a range of cells. And here we're adding up cells B2 to B8. I check that that's correct and all I do is press my enter key and there's my answer. And the best way about doing this is that if my figures update, so if I change this 6 to a 9, you'll automatically see that my answer updates too. Now as I said there's a couple of different ways of doing exactly the same thing so I'm just undoing that. Again click into the cell you want your answer in and you can go to your formulas tab and here you've got your exactly the same auto sum function again. It's actually the Greek letter sigma if you're interested. So I can click on that and again press the enter key and it's doing exactly the same thing. I undo that. Again, you click into the cell you want the answer in and I can use the shortcut Alt and Equals. It gives me exactly the same formula. Press my enter key and I get the same answer. Now I could go through doing exactly the same for Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday and Friday, but the easiest thing to do is to just copy the formula across to the other cells and the cell references will update automatically as we go. And to do that, all you do is move your mouse pointer to the bottom right hand corner of this cell where your formula is. You can see that the mouse pointer turns into a small black cross and I just click and drag and drag the formula across. And if you want to double check, if I click on cell C9, you can see it's updated the formula for column C. And if I click for Wednesday, it's updated it for D, and so on and so on. The main thing to be aware of when you're using AutoSum is to make sure that you've captured the right cell references, that you're adding up the right range of cells. So just to show you an example, on Monday for oranges, if I change this to none, it's updated my formula, that's absolutely fine. Excel doesn't struggle with that. But if I want to put in a total row here, so I'm going to total up the amount of oranges sold in a week, the amount of apples sold in a week, etc. I love the fact Excel's clever enough to copy my um, formatting across. This time, if I go to my home tab and go to auto sum, can you see how the marching ants, this dotted line, isn't capturing my figures for Monday. Now that's fine for Monday, but if I copy this formula down, it's giving me an error message because it knows that there are figures here that haven't been captured within these formulas. So if I undo that, again, if I want to put the total in for oranges for that week, if I click on auto sum, all I can do to make to correct this is to just highlight the right cell reference and then press my enter key. And now when I copy the formula down, hopefully I won't get error messages. So that's a really quick introduction to using the auto sum function in Excel.